In this video, we're going to be looking at question 17 from the Further Maths GCSE paper 1. So, we've been given a circle, centre origin, and we've got a point P on it. We've been given the equation of the circle, and we're asked to show you that the coordinates of P are 2, 2 root 3. So if you remember the equation of a circle, we've got x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So we can actually straight away work out this length of O to P. So we've got r squared equals 16. So r is going to be 4. So this length here is going to be 4. So now we've actually got that, if we drop a line down here at a right angle, We've created ourselves a right angle and we can work out uh, the value of this side here and this side here using trig exact values. So we need to know uh, the exact values when our angle is 60. The way I do this is I'm going to draw myself an equilateral triangle. All the angles are going to be 60 and I'm going to make all the sides length 2. Now, if I drop a line down here, create a right angle, this is going to be 30, because all of this is 60, so half of that is 30. All of this length here is going to be 2, so just this bit is going to be 1. So if I just focus on this triangle now, If I want this side here, what I can do is use Pythagoras' theorem, because we've got a right angle triangle to work it out. So let's just very quickly call this C, A and B. So we're going to have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we've got 1 plus B squared equals 2 squared, which is 4. So B squared equals 3. B equals root 3. So this side here is going to be root 3. So now I've got my three sides. I can use these to find my trig, trig values. So sine of 60 is the opposite over high. Uh, opposite over hypotenuse, so this is a hypotenuse. We're looking at this angle 60 here, so this would be the opposite and this would be the adjacent. So it's going to be root 3 over 2. Cos of 60, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is a half, and tan 60, which is going to be opposite over adjacent, so root 3 over 1, which is just root 3. So, if we go back to our original triangle we've got here, we've got a right angle here, an angle of 60, and 4. So, we want to know how far in the x direction we're going. That will give us this point here. So we have got our hypotenuse, our adjacent, our opposite. So we're going to be using cos here because we're looking at the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So we've got cos of 60 equals the adjacent, which we don't know, over the hypotenuse, which is 4. So the adjacent is going to be 4 cos 60. Cos is a half, so 4 lots of a half, which equals 2. Good. So that is the first bit worked out. We've worked the x direction out. Now we're going to work out the y. So here we want this opposite here. We've got the opposite and the hypotenuse. So we're going to be using sine. So sine of 60 equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is 4. 
we know that, well, let's rearrange it first. So the opposite is going to be four lots of sine 60. And we know from our working up here that sine 60 equals root 3 over 2. Four lots of a half is 2, so we're going to end up with 2 root 3, which is what it's asked us to find. So that part, that's part A done. Part B, work out the equation of the tangent to the circle at P. Write your answer in the form x plus a y equals b, where a and b are constants. So if we're looking at a tangent, we're going to be talking about y equals mx plus c. Now, if we go back to this, we've been we've been quite nice if we're talking about tangent at p, so that's a line touching p there, because we've actually got the normal already. This line here, this op, is the normal. So what we can do is we can work out the gradient of the normal. So gradient gradient of OP. So that's going to be difference in Y. If I just write up my coordinate again. Difference in y, so it'd be 2 root 3 take away 0 over the difference in x, 2 take away 0. Because we're using the other coordinate of 0, 0, which is the centre. So our gradient here is going to be 2 root 3 over 2, which is just root 3. So the gradient of the tangent... is going to be the negative reciprocal of this number, negative 1 over 3. So we can put this back into our equation. So negative 1 over root 3, x plus c. So we need to find the plus c part. We need to use an equa uh, a coordinate on that line. Well, we know point P is on that line, so we're going to substitute that in. So we're going to end up with 2 uh, root 3 equals negative 1 over root 3 times by 2 equals C. Ideally, I should be looking at this gradient and rationalising it. So we're going to have 2 root 3 rationalize this so we're going to times top and bottom by root 3 so root 3 over 3 times by 2 plus c so we're going to end up with 2 root 3 equals negative 2 root 3 over 3 plus c so i'm going to Add 2 root 3 over 3 to both sides. So I'm going to end up with 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 over 3 equals C. Now, with this one, the 2 root 3, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 3. So let's give myself a bit more space. So we're going to end up with 6 root 3 over 3 plus 2 root 3 over 3. So we're going to end up with 8 root 3 over 3 equals C. So we're going to end up with, if we take this back to the equation of tangent, y equals negative, and I'm just going to keep this in the rationalised form, root 3 over 3, x plus 8, root 3 over 3. But that's not the 
form it wants the equation in, we need it in the form of x plus ay equals b. So we're going to do a bit of rearranging. I am going to gather all the gather the x and the y to the same side. So we're going to end up with 3 root 3x three plus y equals 8 root 3 over 3. I'm then going to multiply everything by 3. So we're going to end up with root 3x plus 3y equals 8 root 3. And then I'm going to divide by root 3. So x plus 3y over root 3 equals 8. Now again, we've got a third on the bottom, so we're going to rationalise. So we're going to times top and bottom of this one by root 3. On the top, we're going to end up with 3 root 3 y, and on the bottom, root 3 times root 3 is 3. So we've got x plus 3 root 3 y over 3 plus 8. Now, we can actually cancel the 3s. So we're going to have x plus root 3y equals 8.